container or something, please. Sorry, I had coffee and I just, I don't want to throw up. Okay, we'll get your trash can. This is the second interrogation of Megan Hagen. To give you context, Megan is accused of murdering her mother and her sister. On the day of the murder, she was also caught fraudulently trying to transfer $400,000 from her mother's account to her own account so she can buy a house. The first interrogation was uploaded to my channel. A link to that is in the description. This is the second interrogation where she was picked up in West Virginia. You notice so far in the beginning, she's asking for a trash can straight away. She ends up blaming coffee. But the real reason is because she knows she's been caught red-handed. Now I'll play the interrogation for you. I apologize if the sound isn't the best. I did try my best to clean up the audio and to get the captions as accurate as I can. If you do end up liking this video, please subscribe. I probably won't chime in with my observations. I'll just have captions on the screen letting you know what I think. So you, you see what the, the charges are for? Oh, I know what the charges are going to be. I saw paperwork that came in. Okay. You want to talk specifically about that day? I know you've already... No. So I, I told them on July 18th, I think it was. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Maybe 19th. They said, whatever they want me to take the blame for, I'll take it. I have zero problem with that. And they said, that's not how this works. Man. That's it. Mm -hmm. And like, they kept touching, like, touching my legs and like, doing that. Mm -hmm. And so I thought they were like trying to calm me down mm -hmm. so that I would, I'm like, isn't that what you want me to say? And they said, that's not how it works. Do you understand what they said that then? No, if I said I'm willing to take the blame for everything, then wait, why wouldn't I just write it down? Because that's a little different than saying saying I'm willing to take the blame isn't necessarily saying I'm the one that did it and these are the reasons why. That just I I know it. enough. I know enough. I can confess to whatever. I just want my family to move move on. That's it. I said that that day. I mean that. Mm -hmm. I I will do whatever. It it's been awful living in purgatory, mm -hmm. going back and forth. Every couple months, like something else comes up. My sister was my best was my best friend. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's just been. And I just saw her because she has she takes our daughter every few weeks. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you guys know that. So you said you would confess to to this. this again, the difference between saying I confess to everything, just to say it's me, is different than we want to make sure. We have, we have this right, and and of course we have all of the evidence, and now there's enough probable cause to get warrants. But no, I understand. I also under I I understand exactly. I I, I do understand that. Yeah, and that's why I said I would confess to anything. So what what I'd like you to do is just kind of talk me through that day and tell me how it went. Nothing. How it went so has long. changed. Nothing has changed. I know, know how bad it looks. I absolutely know. I know that, and and I did panic. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I panicked a lot. I mean, I could. I I was like a zombie walking mm -hmm. out of there. I was on the phone with a dispatch mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. I think a supervisor. Okay, but I don't know if that's who it actually was. She just identified herself. Okay. But. Mm -hmm. She asked me to try to remain calm and, and tell me what happened that day. Because they, they were telling my sister, I think, that I was at the house. Mm -hmm. And so she had called me and said, don't go back to the house. There was a lot of confusion. Mm -hmm. I got to the house. I had Molly with me. I was trying not to panic or cry. Because at that point, it was just her boyfriend calling, I think, my sister. Okay. Okay. And we said her boyfriend, Helen's boyfriend, Carlos? Yes. Now, 
I think they're engaged. She identified them as being engaged, mm-hmm. but she never, like, you know, we never really acknowledged that, to be honest. I'm not being flippant. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying that. Did it mm-hmm. seem like they, they weren't really serious because they were so young? Well, he wasn't young. He's not young, he's my age. Oh, okay. Um, no, because she was seeing somebody else, mm-hmm. and they fought a lot. Okay. He had accused her of that. Mm-hmm. But, it's like, I mean, it's not like he lived there yet, so mm-hmm. they just fought a lot. What was the issue with, with Carlos? Why was it the source of contention? <sighs> my mother... Okay, first of all, something happened with Helen in the beginning of November. Mm-hmm. She was supposed to, uh, she had just gotten accepted to a five year, or like a fifth year program. She had already done her four years, double major, mm-hmm. very book smart, okay. She worked really hard to get in this master program. Um, my mom had a home out there for her, mm-hmm. okay. Uh, she was just supposed to, Helen, she didn't want to get a regular job. We didn't understand why. Just something happened. We don't. We didn't know what. We had no idea what what it was. Mm-hmm. But um, a couple years, maybe not two years, a year prior, mm-hmm. she had been seeing a psychologist on campus. Mm-hmm. She refused to see a psychologist that my mother knew because she thought my mom would go to the psychologist and the psychologist would tell her everything. Mm-hmm. She was diagnosed with two different disorders. Um, she was doing really well on medication. Ashley and I talked like how much better she was doing. And then she stopped the medication, which I know is common. Mm-hmm. She started self-medicating. Mm-hmm. And then she's evened out for a little while. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. We knew that there was an issue. We just didn't know what she told. She called my mom and told her she was not going to do a master's program anymore. That was it. My mother always came to me. She said, talk to Helen. Helen would go to my mom before she would go to me. Mm-hmm. I was I was way more strict at that stuff mm-hmm. than my mom was. Mm-hmm. I have zero tolerance of drugs. I was concerned about her drinking. Mm-hmm. I mean, she was in the house drinking, so I didn't, she wasn't driving, but some of her friends had gotten in trouble with it. So the, mom, the morning of this incident, how were things in the house? Walk me through the morning, how much you remember. I mean, it was some, somewhat normal as far as like, time we were going to get. We didn't have furniture in a lot of the rooms mm-hmm. because my mother had given furniture to, to move. I slept on the couch. Molly slept in the chair. Mm-hmm. My mother always slept in the other chair. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you've seen the house. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking mm-hmm. about. Mm-hmm. The chairs facing the TV. But, um, so at nine, your mom was supposed to call the bank? She was su- she was supposed to initiate the transfer as okay. what happened. I had to call the title company mm-hmm. to let them know she was she was calling. Mm-hmm. I don't know where my husband was at the time. I, th- I was just calling the title company. They weren't in yet, I think. Mm-hmm. I talked to a receptionist. I said, well, that's fine. This is her name. Mm-hmm. That's who's paying for it. Mm-hmm. They had already started arguing at that point. Helen mm-hmm. came down at like 8.30, maybe, quarter to 9. We had already been up since like 5.30. Right. Um, so did your mom ever make that call at 9? No, they were already starting arguing. Okay. And, what and I, said, I said, it's fine. As long as it's, I think I was told as long as it's done by noon. Okay. Or it could have even been like two or three. I don't know. Whatever the cutoff was for the close of the day or close of business on a Friday. Mm-hmm. Whatever I was told, that's what I really, that was it. 
when they started arguing, my mother had given me the phone number and everything else. It was on the desk. She had written it. It was on the desk. Mm -hmm. Nobody touched it. She uh, had given me the information. Some of it I knew, mm -hmm. just because I was my mom, so like I knew some of it. But she had to write down her social. Um, what else did she have to write down? And they told her uh, like the four hundred one thousand dollars, and she said that's not correct. It's. Four hundred twenty-five thousand or something. Mm -hmm. Whatever the house was, was said, well, that money was for the home in Aldi. No, it was not. Home in Aldi was like eight hundred thousand dollars, and she was not putting anything else down because something had happened with Richland Homes. She got an email that they wanted more money over the um, mortgage insurance. I think. Mm -hmm. I th I think that's what they want, and she said absolutely not. I told them I didn't need that. Whatever she would sell stocks to buy homes, which she usually did. You guys know she had multiple homes. Mm -hmm. That's what she would do. She was in the chair. Mm -hmm. I was standing there. Helen knew what was happening. She was upset because my mom had already told her she was not moving into that house with Carla. When did she tell her that? It, she had already been telling her, mm -hmm. I think insinuating it, and I, I was leaving that day, and I, this is really selfish, and I know it's really, really selfish. I just begged my mom not to say anything. I said, can we just have the weekend, please? It was it. And I, it was super selfish. Not to say anything about what? About telling Helen that she didn't want. She wasn't going to move in there by herself. My mom wanted to sell in a clean house and move into an Aldi house. Mm -hmm. She didn't want to be in clean. She was retiring. Mm -hmm. She didn't want to be in the clean. So she hadn't told her yet. You had said, please hold off. Let's just have I had the there. night before, yeah. Okay. But that's what the arguing was about. So tell me about that argument in the morning. What happened? So Helen comes downstairs, and then what, what do you hear? <sighs> Honestly, I don't... I'm sure it just, like, started over something little or whatever. Mm -hmm. Earlier that week, um, Helen had gotten sick all over her room. Mm -hmm. I want to say it was like Sunday or Monday, much earlier in the week. Um, she usually closed her door. Mm -hmm. The dogs were no longer there anymore. They were already at the farm. Mm -hmm. so she just closed her door and nobody ever went in there. Mm -hmm. right. um, my mom knew she smoked pot in the house. Mm -hmm. It calmed her. Mm -hmm. um, I know she was on other medications, so she, it, it kind of been early. Like, between 8, 30, 45. This is a long time ago. No, no, just try your best. Try your best. And she, it, it's probably just something like little over that, you know, because she, she had let the vomit be in there for like three days. Mm -hmm. I know it was midweek, and I had come home, um, I, I was just at the store or something, and I smelled bleach. I never smelled bleach in this. My mom didn't use it. It could stain other things mm -hmm. in the house. Mm -hmm. And my mom came down, um, gagging and stuff, and she just was discussing up there. She had Molly help me clean it up. But um, it, she just got sick over so and she never cleaned it up. I assumed it was like something over that. Again, you know, just mm -hmm. like it was little stuff. I was packing. I wasn't. Like you guys saw it. We saw clothes mm -hmm. there. Um, we were coming back. It wasn't like I didn't take all the clothes or anything. I only had the one suitcase. That was it. Um, so you think that they were arguing about what had happened? They, the they could, or they, they, it's, I'm sure it just started off with something little. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was my husband. Mm -hmm. um, so did you hear anything, any specific parts of that argument, or were you just kind of assuming that that's what it was about? I, when they first started, like, the tit for tat, mm -hmm. I just assumed that it was just, like, irritating. None of us are morning. My right. mom was the only morning person. Mm -hmm. I'm sure... Um, I don't know why Helen got up as early as she did. Her one dog, Humphrey, who I have now, mm -hmm. barks a lot and, and we wake her up. So if she was up, she was up. That mm -hmm. was it. Mm -hmm. um, my mom and I were both in and out of the house. I mean, I know you guys could see that mm -hmm. from the, the camera. Uh, so I when think even Helen was out. So when it's like 9 o'clock-ish, so Helen's up around 8.30, you said. 9 o'clock is when your mom's supposed to make this phone call. What happened? Well, around, yeah, like around 9-ish. Mm -hmm. 
I think I was already on the phone with the title company, okay. the attorneys. Ma'am, I honestly don't remember the exact times. I cannot be for Don't certain. concentrate so much on the times, just about what you remember happening around okay. those times. <sighs> they were both in the kitchen. They were both in the kitchen. Molly was still on the chair. Um, she was in the chair facing the front door. So you know what I'm talking about. Right. I come out of the den and they were already arguing about the house on Monday. Um, my mom had ordered furniture for the house. Mm -hmm. She had canceled that because she knew she was going to be selling the McLean house, mm -hmm. moving the furniture in. Mm -hmm. um, they had some problems with the house. Mm -hmm. They had to re engineer a bunch of stuff up so it was taking too long on it. So they're still moving forward on the house, but your mom is not happy about Carlos moving in. Um, no, she did not even she did not know, and we didn't know that he had already been to the house. Okay. We did not. My mother, to my knowledge, never knew that part. Okay. My sister Ashley and I only found that out, and um, we said, we said, did you, didn't you tell our mom? And she said, well, no. Tell your mom what that. Carlos and Helen had been there and that they were talking about he was moving into the house and she said, no, I just assumed she knew. Because mm -hmm. okay. how could you, like, why would you think, uh, like, why would you think you could move somebody in the house and nobody, you know, like the first one in the house, not know. When was that that you had the conversation? You said you and Ashley went and spoke We had to, because we had to go and stop the house. Okay. Like, we just had to stop. Um, our dad was telling us. Mm -hmm. Do like you know, get as much of this big stuff. And Ashley, unfortunately, has been through estate stuff. Mm -hmm. I never had been. Okay. Do you remember how long ago after the incident that you had had to go talk to the lady about the house? That Monday. That Monday. Okay. I don't remember her name. I'm sorry. It's okay. So I'm just trying to figure out the source of the argument the morning of the 14th. It, she so did not know Carlos had been to the house. It was just she knew Helen wanted him to move in. Mm -hmm. She had already talked about it. Mm -hmm. There, The flight for him to come out for 4th of July, mm -hmm. she didn't have enough money. I had paid one of the vet bills. It was like $900 for one dog. Mm -hmm. I already paid it. Mm -hmm. She didn't have any money left. Uh, at first, Helen was going to go out to him. My mom put a quash on that. She wouldn't give her her fire neck miles or anything. My mom either had texted me or said to me, I know it sounds stupid, we're in the same house. But she was in the den, the door was closed. She was, she was working. Mm -hmm. You don't go in. She would just text me. Mm -hmm. that, cause she could be in there for hours at a time. She had TV in there. She okay. just, you don't go in the room. The door's um, she said, don't give Helen in her freaking fire room. Yeah. So that was another oh, her what? Frequent flyer. Frequent flyer. Oh, okay. She was going to try and use it. Helen had asked me, how do I do that to pay her ticket? Which I thought was weird. She was working with him. I didn't pay for his own ticket. Mm -hmm. But my mom was trying to avoid, she was trying to not have them together. Mm -hmm. okay. There were a lot of arguments about it. What is it about him that you think your mom didn't like? <sighs> Other than I know you said she, had, she had, her behavior seemed to have changed, but was there something specific about him? I'm going to make this way worse. My mother had made a comment because mm -hmm. he's Hispanic. She said, I don't care he's Hispanic. If he was Hispanic and ran Telemundo, that would be fine. Mm -hmm. Meaning, like, if he had, like, if he could care for her, like, more equal level with mm -hmm. her, mm -hmm. be fine. So she didn't think that they were on the same level? I don't know. Okay. Was. Helen told us that he was still married. Mm -hmm. That was another thing. My mother said that she had done a background check on him, mm -hmm. um, that his father was a sheriff's deputy but got fired. I don't know if that's true. Okay. I, my mom said that his family had a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. The only person who didn't have a lot of problems was his sister, who had been at the house, the one that my mom said was stealing stuff. Mm -hmm. That was the only one I knew of that had problems with it. That's, I knew he had another sister that was, you know, decent person, okay? okay. I don't know specific. That's fine. I was just wondering generally. Um, she also 
Uh, he lied about his Marine service mm -hmm. or a military family. He just, I know that sounds trivial, it's not. Yeah. Yeah. For a military family, you're right, you don't do that. It's a, it's a it, it, it is a big deal. Mm -hmm. It is. Okay. It was a big deal to your boss. It was a big deal to all of us. Right. We didn't want, you don't want that. Mm -hmm. Helen was like, she's so much younger. We all did everything. I, when my husband went on his second deployment, mm -hmm. my mother wanted me to move in because she had just moved to Potomac. I know you guys know it was a contentious divorce between she and my father, really, really bad. Mm -hmm. Really bad. My mom asked me to help with Helen so she could get to school. She went to private school. And, uh, we just, we, we all dropped everything for Helen to you know, want to make sure she had everything and we all, I don't, I don't want to sound like a martyr, like any of us were martyrs, but we all sacrificed so that she could have that easy path and she was just making it way worse on herself and we don't understand, we just don't understand why. Um, my mom is not a fan of Army, my dad. She had a hard time, you know, with my husband. Mm -hmm. She just, she, she made the comment when we got married. We just get married and divorced. We were so married. Molly, they didn't get divorced. You know, she, had, she wanted you to get married and then get divorced. Well, yeah, because she had a really, she had a very bad experience, you know. Mm -hmm. Twice divorced. And she took care of everybody. My mom took care of everybody. So we would for if my dad had gotten us in a divorce. Mm -hmm. We would have been homeless. So then I want to redirect you back. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, I'm okay. sorry. No, I, I, it's okay. Um, I just want to redirect back to that morning. Um, okay, so we... Wait the phone call. Um, they already started arguing. She had already given me the information. She said... Just go ahead and do it. I had already, like, I had dealt with her accounts prior. Mm -hmm. I, you guys can see all the, the checkbooks and everything else. So you're familiar with her. I mean, you're the firstborn, mm -hmm. right? You're yes. the oldest firstborn. You live there. She trusted you with a lot of stuff. stuff, but not. She was always trying to, um, hold on, just so you understand mm -hmm. why. And mm -hmm. yes, I do have to back up. And I even told the detective this before. Mm -hmm. My mother's sister, she and my mother did not go home. Mm -hmm. Okay. They don't go on. There was a shooting. I don't I remember the time. Time. There's a lawsuit. I don't. I have no idea this is going All the information I have is via my mother. Okay. I asked her because she was redoing all of her um, retirement stuff, and well, she says, "Girls, I need to talk to you about this. This is all changing. I'm retiring." Mm -hmm. Um, she retired twice in two years. Mm -hmm. Okay. And she, I said, don't tell us anything, just know where you put it. Mm -hmm. But she said, well, I don't want, I don't want anything with my name that, you know, the lawsuit could get, I said, put it in Molly's name then. She's a minor, nobody can touch it, mm -hmm. don't let, just put it there. And then you can go back and do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. I had to go, you know, I dealt with her taxes, mm -hmm. and I dealt with, I knew uh, how much needed to be paid for the taxes in Illinois. Um, I didn't have like account numbers or anything, but I knew if she said the German bank, mm -hmm. I knew that that meant that was uh, for the, the land, okay? Mm -hmm. um, there's uh, things like that. I didn't know necessarily specific, but if she said do this, I did it. There was mm -hmm. nothing, there's, you don't. Would she feel comfortable giving you like passwords to her accounts? Um, usually she would just type stuff, like she was already at her computer, so she, I don't think, I don't think there was ever a time where she didn't mm -hmm. already have it up. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know. So you were aware of the financial situation, but, but you wouldn't like go mm -hmm. in and do No, 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 no. no. She was, we were always together. Okay. If I need anything, you guys saw this. I said, Mom, I need that. She would literally write me a check. Mm -hmm. That's it. So this is when I'm... Um, and, and but no, I don't know. I don't know. 
Like, I don't know where everything is. I wouldn't know retirement plan stuff. I wouldn't know any of that kind of thing. Okay. I knew who her tax people were because mm -hmm. I would take the tax stuff over there. We would go line by line. Is this, did this get done? Did that get done? It was, my, when my grandmother passed, it was a mess. Mm -hmm. and my mom was trying to sift through all of it. Mm -hmm. So, like, yeah, I knew who the people were and all that. But yeah, if I need anything, all of us, if we ever need anything, we just went to my mom. My sister didn't have health insurance. My mom paid for health insurance. So let me ask you this. The morning that this happened, mm -hmm. and I know that you've already spoken with the other detectives about mm -hmm. the phone call and you calling in to mm -hmm. Capital One, uh, pretending to be your mom to make that wire transfer. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't she do that that morning? Like what, why they were on she just... They were already arguing, and she said, she had asked me what time does it need to get done. Mm -hmm. And I did say 9 o'clock, but I think it was, it was, like, I just wanted to get out of there because we needed, we had other stuff to do. Like, when I got here, mm -hmm. I, I want to say you close the business on Friday at 1 o'clock. I don't know why 1 o'clock is stuck in my head. Mm -hmm. But it is. Is that when you think you made the phone call around 1? No, it was earlier than that. The first phone call. Okay, but I, it they, seems like it's such a it's such a big thing that she would. And I'm just thinking of like my mom and dealing with my siblings. Give no, I'm like Helen. Saying, give me just a minute. I got to deal with your sister's house. Okay, I go downstairs and make the phone call. Uh, and they they were arguing. She was in the den. Mm -hmm. She was already sitting at the computer. Your mom was. Yes, okay. she had already. Um, I don't. Oh, it was Capital One. Mm -hmm. So she was already there. Um, Helen came and said something about me, my husband, I think. Do you remember what that was? No, just something like just irritated or whatever, you know, angry. I mean, it was, it was heated. Mm -hmm. it was very heated. Why would she be angry at you? It, like, what, what, do you remember what it was that she lashed out at you? She was like, I'm fine. The house. That was okay. why. I mean, my mom had already told her um, it, that was it. She okay. she's not gonna be by herself in that house. Mm -hmm. That was it. Um, like my mom had offered to buy Ashley's house, and Ashley said, "No, no, no, I'm good, thank mm -hmm. you." Which that was my first reaction to. Mm -hmm. This is there's no like nice way to put it. Like you don't want to. You don't want to like be a burden, you know. Like mm -hmm. feel that you, you're. Uh, I just like no, mom. It's fine. You know, I, like she, we, we were already having a lot of issues and it, it just look. I'm, I'm not an angel. Mm -hmm. My mother and I are you. We're very similar mm -hmm. personalities, but. She didn't have anybody else. She didn't have my father. She didn't have a husband. Mm -hmm. She would vent to me, even about something. Why anything. wouldn't she make the phone call herself? Because they were arguing. She couldn't yeah. take. I don't know. We it wasn't content. We like I came back out. I was trying to get Molly ready to go. Mm -hmm. I started packing. I knew it would get done eventually. It was, it was not like I was not stressing it. Mm -hmm. My husband wasn't stressing it. Sorry. Okay. My husband wasn't stressing it. That was. So the day, the call, the day before on the thirteenth. Why wouldn't she make that phone call? She was going to lunch and she said, "Just go ahead." That was it. And, and they said it's so ridiculous. So I can't imagine with her account that she would just do that. Like, was, no, 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 no. That was something else. And they said they had told her the gentleman that she spoke to her said four hundred one thousand. Mm -hmm. That was she said. She said that she knew that was not the correct amount. She had immediately called me. There was text. My sister Ashley was at lunch with her. My so mother I, knew it wasn't me. This is the the problem with that is you know the call was recorded. No, I know I heard. It. Yeah. Okay, so the that four hundred one thousand, and and I know because I listened to your previous interview with Buyers and Needles, you um you kind you kind of get stuck on that number a little bit, and I'm wondering she if that had written what your mom had written down. Yeah. She she said on the call, hold on, I'm driving, let me pull over. And you can tell she's writing down the yeah, information. Yeah, that's what she wrote. So I'm, I'm thinking you're stuck on that 401 because that's what she had written down on the paper? Well, I didn't see the paper until that night when she was telling me everything. Okay, so you physically saw that number and that's why it's, it's in your head, right? Yes, because okay. when she and I had spoken, mm -hmm. she 
she had verified how much the house was, how much was supposed to be transferred. And she said, that's not correct. She said, I bet it's Richland Homes again, because she'd already done the deposit for them. So you heard the call, right? When they, when Capital One called her back because of the fraud alert? I... I think Byerson played it for you. Don't know if I heard her. I heard me. You remember hearing your voice and you said, yes, that was me. Yeah. And you said, because she gave you permission, so there's no issues with that. But do you remember when he played you the call when your mom got the phone call from Capital One? Where she said, no, that's not supposed to be touched. Right. So what it was said is when they said there's a wire transfer attempting to go through on your account for 400 and something thousand dollars. So they didn't give her the number. It could be just because she's driving and she's, in her mind, she's thinking 400 and something. The only reason she thought that was Richland Homes was because there had been a previous issue with them for that amount. So she didn't say anything about that. What she says on the call... Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Just so you understand kind of what we're talking about. What she says on the call is a very emphatic what, and it's very clear that she has no idea that this transfer is happening. And then she says, absolutely not. Those funds are not to be touched. She doesn't say anything about, oh, hold on, I think you have the number incorrect because I'm buying my daughter a house and it's supposed to be 418.5 or whatever it was. She's very clear on this call. She's surprised. She's nervous that someone's attempting to fraudulently transfer money, and she makes no statements knowing what this is about. So this is my concern. This is my concern. I think that that's not accurate. Thank you. Give me just a second here. You know the severity of these charges, right? It's disgusting, yes. What I'm worried about, this is the time that you can direct the narrative about what happened and why. I saw her to confess. I just wanted to call my attorney. What I need you to do, though, is not just say, oh, blame me. I need you to be honest. I know enough of what happened. I know enough of what happened. I will do it. And what I'm worried about is that the dynamics, I can't imagine you being the oldest, you're the one that has a daughter, you're the one that's married, your little sister just graduated, she's screwing up, and yet she's going to get an $800,000 new house built for her. Oh, no, 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 no. Your mom didn't tell anyone else that she was buying you a house. That is inaccurate. Well, that's not true, but no, that is not. Who else did she tell? I assume my sister and my husband. She was helping us move. So what I need you to do is I need you to be honest with me, because you even said in the first interview this looks really bad. I don't want people to think, because what's going to happen now, you're going to jail. No, I am. The media is going to pick up on this. In the end, Megan wrote this letter when this interview ended. And this is the official letter. In this letter, she states that she was at the house and there was an argument going on and that she begged her mother not to say anything to Helen. Essentially what she was saying in this interview.